Hi, in this uh, session I wish to describe about this SQL injection. Especially I will be demonstrating in this exercise using this DVWA. Okay, so first is that how you can really understand about this uh, SQL injection. So there is a website which is uh, http demo.testfire.net. I will just show you how this injection attacks in the real time. Remember this website is only for demonstration purpose. Okay, I will just go through this particular one. I mean browser I open and just run this particular demo.testfile.net. Here you see this is a demo site only. This has, I mean, this is a banking site. This has SQL injection. So what you can do is that username, you can give whatever you want. In the password field, see here, uh, what we need to give is this is a malicious code. This is a malicious code with single quote or single quote close X uh, close quote is equal to open and close equal to and x that means that select asterisk from employee where username equal to null and password equal to null so just copy this particular one this is a malicious code this is the field okay uh, you can write whatever you want or you can even copy that and same thing here also and you see this you are able to log into the system where the malicious code has been involved and then whatever you want this again a demonstrative purpose only you can see this uh, you can do all your activities as an administrator okay now in the real time how i can demonstrate using this dvw also i'll be showing you so here here first of all i need to set my dvw to low this has been set to low and here i have this injection as well as blind injection okay you can the only difference between blind injection and SQL injection is that see the data is retrieved from the database when the database does not output data into the web page an attacker is forced to steal by asking a database a series of true or false that true or false kind of questions happens in blind SQL injection okay so what I'm going to do here I'm having a Kali Linux as the I mean where my burp suit is also there where I can capture all my uh, crucial important things like um, I mean uh, what I call as uh, uh, session IDs etc. Okay, so I'll quickly launch this uh, burp suit on my Kali Linux from a proxy where I can get and then I'll do something which is I called as uh, through the SQL map. So in my first step. I'll launch it in my full screen. Okay, so this is my burp suit, and also I launched my Firefox. So my DVWA is launched on uh, Metasploit, which is having an IP of 182.168.1.78. So I need to set up my proxy. So here my manual proxy is there. So my burp should start. So temporary project say next. Use burp defaults. Start burp. So, so I can first in the first phase I will stop the interception. Otherwise, uh, I will not be able to get see my page. Okay, so I log in first as admin. Okay, so I logged in. I will reduce the security to low first. So reduce the security to low okay so this is done and also i'm trying to reset all the existing database okay i'll go here as blind injection see here when i say user id as one you can see this one which is demonstrated here now uh, you can see the url also is coming across at this point now even if i say two 
So I will first see this particular one. I'll intercept. I'll start the interception now. If I say two, okay, it will ask for a cookie here. You can see this one. You see this session ID and security also has displayed. I need this particular one. I need this particular one. Okay. So I'll I'll just copy and then and then this URL and this cookie I really require to uh, enumerate to enumerate using this SQL map. So SQL map. So what you can do is the SQL map hyphen u for URL. Copy this particular one. Copy. Just paste the URL completely. Till the hash is there. Till the hash is there. Okay. In quotes, I forgot to mention the quote. Please mention in quote. Okay. Now, the most important one is most important one is you define the cookie. Cookie equal to the captured cookie from work suit. Just say copy. Just say paste. But this also should be in quote. Ensure that you are copying correctly. So up to 068. Verify one second. 068. Yes. Okay. And try to say mention what what we need DBS. DBS. Okay. So this will SQL map is again a uh, scanner vulnerability scanner. So which will enumerate uh, to the server and then see you are saying it is trying to basically bring out the information. So what we are asking is that list out all the database, It'll list out all the database. Okay, you can see this uh, enumeration has been complete. So you can see there are these are all the database which has been demonstrated. Ensure that you have already uh, interception is off. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to select the database as dbwa, dbwa. Uh, I can select the database as hyphen capital D, dbwa and then uh, I can list out the tables. First is that after selecting the database, I want to list out the tables. Okay. So let me see. Yeah, it has listed out the tables now. It has two tables, guest book and users. So, what I'm going to do, select that DBWA and hyphen T for tables, users, and I'll ask for columns. Yeah, it has dis displayed all the columns here. Now, now. The next most important step here, I can see user. So I selected this. Uh, I can see user. Maybe yes, is the password. The password. I can see this. All the columns here. User password. I can also add the exact first name. First underscore name, and you just said dumb. See the syntax. Just run this. It will also perform. I mean, yes, you can give this. Uh, it will try to extract all the hash and then it will perform a dictionary attack. Dictionary attack. You can select the dictionary which is available in your local user share as well. Okay, do you want to use common? Yes, you can use. So it will try to enumerate now with all the available. It is slow a bit. So it is computing all the hashes now. Got the hash for Charlie. This is the password is ABC123. A kind of dictionary attack. Okay, so finally you see the output of all the users 1337. The password is Charlie. Okay, the admin password, Smithy password. Okay, so this is how you can use this DBWA uh, SQL map uh, to enumerate the passwords. That's all uh, in this exercise. Uh, so in this method of uh, SQL injection, I will be using this DBWA and then uh, I can do on the web uh, uh, page itself how this can be performed.
So if I here uh, I have set my DVW security as low and then I have reset the tables, I have reset the existing uh, database. So I can select SQL injection. If I say 1, it will display as 1. You see here the record number 1. If I say 2, it will show you the display's record number 2, 3 like that. So here I want to uh, do uh, give some codes and see like uh, getting information like version of database etc. First one I will do version. So a single quote and 1 equal to 0 something like that. So 1 equal to 0 union select null version. I am asking about the version here and say hash. Just say submit. Oh, it has demonstrated the version of the system is 5.0.12. Okay. I will select the same one now. So here I have uh, this particular one. Okay, I'm copying null and user hash. Once if I say submit, oh, I got the username also rooted the rate of local host null. I will now extract database hash. The database name is dwa. So my next one is I just pull out this information uh, schema tables with this particular uh, script. So here I get almost all the columns and the tables. You can see select null table underscore name from information underscore schema dot tables. So I got all the columns. I got the database now and. Uh, Maybe I'll just delete all the things. Three underscore uh, and one equal to zero. One equal to zero. Union select null concat. You can say uh, first name, first underscore name. Zero x zero a. Yes, it's going to be password. This is only a separation of line 0 x 0 a from users. Users is the column which you have selected. Users is the column. Okay, from database DVWA. So you can see here, you can see admin is the username and this is the value. Okay. I mean the password which is uh, in hash. So if you have this hash, if you want to decode, you can do a dictionary attack or go to crackstation.net and provide this. You will be able to see the uh, crack hash. So you can see this way is one, two, three. Okay. And this way the passwords can be uh, hacked. Okay. Uh, thank you. Bye.